Hello Bakers and welcome to Upside Down. So you're interested in developing VR projects. That's great, but where to start? In today's video, we are going to look into how to use Unreal 4 for developing VR games and how you need to make the whole setup so that you can create builds and as well you can test your VR. We are going to use the Oculus Quest 2, but it's a similar setup for any other device. Of course, it depends if it's an Android based or if it's a Windows based, because then we will need a little bit of a different framework. But today we are checking how to set it up for Quest 2, which is an Android based device. Now, without further ado, let's roll the intro. The first thing that you will need since we are going to be using uh, Unreal is to head to Unreal web page. And if you don't already have uh, the engine installed, just download it and we are going to use the latest version, which at the moment is 4.27.2. Now that we have our Unreal installed and everything is up and running, we need to install two more things. So another thing that we're gonna need to install is Android Studio and once it's installed we need to install a couple of add-ons inside. The third thing that we're gonna need today is to get NVIDIA Codeworks. We are going to use the latest version, so again the link is down in the description below. There is one last thing that we're gonna need to download and this is SideQuest. This is a software that we are going to use at the very end for deploying our builds onto the quest. Now that we have everything downloaded, let's go on part 2, which is going to be what plugins to install and how to set up everything. First, we are going to start with setting up our Android Studio. So here we need to go to more actions and then go to SDK Manager. And from the SDK Manager, we're going to need a few things. First is going to be on SDK platforms. This is here on the site. As you can see, we are on Android SDK. So what we're gonna need as a version is going to be Android 10.0. This is the latest version, which is supported by Quest 2 at this time. So if you are watching this in the future, note that you're gonna have to check which is the latest supported version by Quest or the other VR headset that you're using. Second thing that we're gonna need is going to SDK tools. So here you can see that there is Android SDK build and then the NDK. So those two are different from the others uh, because you don't have the checkbox, but instead you have these dashes on the side. This means that uh, they are expandable and there is more to be seen what's uh, under this uh, section. In order to see what uh, we have here, we need to click this button here, show package details. And then we're gonna have uh, more visibility of what exactly is the build and what exactly are the versions. So the version, which uh, I just set for the SDK is uh, 10.0. With this one, Android SDK build, goes the 29.0.2. This is the version, again, which is the latest one that's supported currently. Second part is going to be to get our NDK and the NDK, which is supported at the moment for Quest, is going to be 23.0 and then this very long number. So uh, you just need to grab this version as well. So we have now our Android Studio set it up so everything is installed and running. Next step is to install our NVIDIA Codeworks. There the process is pretty straightforward, you just need to follow the instructions when installing it and everything is done. The important part to know is where exactly we installed everything because we are gonna need some of the spots after that to set it up inside Unreal. Now let's go into the other part where we are going to set up the Oculus to be connected to the PC. So first thing that we're gonna need of course to set up uh, our Oculus is to have a Quest 2 on your own and then we're gonna need a USB cable. So on the one side it's uh, just a USB-A and here is a USB-C. You will need to connect this to your computer and after that we will need to have the Oculus app installed and to have your device connected to your computer. Once you plug in the Oculus to your PC, 
uh, you need to look through your headset and accept there will be a couple of pop-up messages that uh, you allow this PC to have connection to your Oculus and all of that. So you just click allow on all of them. And then here on devices, you should see that uh, your Quest has been connected. Uh, in my, you can see that I have this uh, notification and this is because I'm just using uh, a regular uh, USB connection and uh, not an USB 3 connection. And uh, just a USB 3 is going to give a little bit better performance, but for our purposes, uh, this is good enough. Once you have this connected and everything is running, there is one more thing that we need to set up in order for the device to be ready. This is, of course, on your phone. You will need to set up your device to be connected to your Oculus. This is happening through your Wi-Fi, so they both need to be in the same Wi-Fi network. You need your Oculus and your phone to be in the same Wi-Fi network. It's a very important part. And then, once you have everything installed and set it up, only thing you need to do is uh, you need to go to the device and there is, I'm not sure that you will see it very nicely, but there is a developer mode. So we need to go to developer mode and then it needs to be toggled on. This is something which is important because otherwise we are not going to be able to install our updates and our versions and builds to the device unless we have the developer mode turned on. This is uh, unfortunately uh, the only way that I found out to turn it on. So if you know another way, please leave a comment down below. But uh, yeah, it's uh, a little bit of a hassle to get install everything and uh, everything working. But this is VR at the moment. So now that we have uh, all of that installed and set it up, it's time for us to connect to Unreal and see how exactly we create the build and how we launch the build onto the Oculus. Now already inside Unreal, you can see by the way on the background a VR project which is currently under development and I'm going to bring you guys a little bit more news and updates later. But once we are inside Unreal, uh, what we need to do is first find our SDK and NDK and set up everything so that Unreal knows where are everything and all the different SDKs that we just installed. So we need to go into edit, then project settings. And then here we need to scroll down and find uh, Android SDK. So you can see that uh, I already set it up this for uh, my project, but it's something which is uh, fairly easy and straightforward to do. You just need to uh, locate the folders where you installed your Android SDK. This is going to be, of course, inside your user, then in the user that uh, you currently have on the computer, app data, local, Android, and then SDK. And then for the NDK, it's going to be again in the user, app data, local, Android, SDK. And inside the SDK, there will be an NDK folder. And we need to select the version that we just installed. The last thing, as you can see here, is to locate your Java. As you notice, we didn't install Java on the computer. And this is something because uh, I'll show you a little bit of a trick. So Android Studio, when we install it, it actually comes with a Java kit inside. And this Java kit supports the version that we have installed in terms of SDK. So in order for us to save one more download and as well to search for the correct version and everything, and then to wonder why it's not working, maybe because we picked the wrong one, since Java has tons of different versions for different type of platforms, the easiest way is just to go to Program Files, Android, Android Studio, and then here you can see that there is this JRE. So inside the JRE, there is already a Java kit installed. We just need to select this folder and after that everything is going to work. We leave the rest as it is by default. We just uh, put the latest for the SDK and the NDK we put it on Android 21. Of course this is a setup which is for the current date. In future maybe Quest or maybe the next version of Quest is going to support a different version of Android so have that in mind. After this is set up we just need to go to Android and then here, again, this is something which I already did the setup for the project, but we're just going to need to click configure. And then Unreal is taking care of configuring everything and doing all the setups for us. We need as well to accept the SDK license. And on the bottom, we need to put a name for our project. Then we need to scroll down and there is Google Play Services. This is also something we need to just click setup. It's going to be red for you the first time that you have it, but uh, once you click uh, the setup, 
Unreal is taking care of all the settings and then it will become green if everything is fine and it should be. Next step is to see which of the plugins and to make sure that the VR plugin is enabled inside Unreal. So we go to edit then in plugins and then on the section on the side there is a small one which is called virtual reality and here we need to find the ones which are for Oculus. So you can see that uh, Oculus has Open XR, then we have Oculus VR and uh, Open XR, a couple of different plugins. So the ones that uh, we are interested in having enabled is the Oculus VR. The Oculus Open XR is something which at the moment is in beta. I was not able to run it and uh, I'm currently getting some errors when I'm doing the builds. So it's something which with the setup that I'm showing you, it's not going to work. But the Oculus VR plugin is going to work perfectly normal and everything is going to be building and running on your device. So what we need to do is enable it if it's not enabled and this will require you to restart Unreal. Now that everything is set up, you need to make sure that you have your Oculus connected to your PC and as well that you clicked allow because this is something which is going to pop up every time that you first initially connected to the PC. So you need to allow it so that uh, it shares the data with your computer. And also you need to make sure that it's uh, not sleeping, not turned off or anything like that. It needs to be powered on. And then you will have here on the top play. So here from the dropdown, initially it's just on selected viewport, but we can change it to VR preview. VR preview is going to play the game in the editor and as well, we are going to see it in the setup. This is a very quick and easy way to test some features and test some parts of your levels if you are interested in how they look. But now let's get into the interesting part, how to make the build and how to upload it on your device. For making the build, we need to do a couple of things. So here where you see launch, there is a small drop down. We can click it and then you will see your quest. This is something which you will see only if you already once set it up and made a build. So if you don't see it, don't panic. We need to do a few more steps just before we see it here. And the first time that you are creating a build, you can do this, at least for me, it's uh, more convenient. You just see a little bit more information on which stage at the moment the build is. And also you see the devices and everything. So we need to just go to project launcher it will pop up this window over here and you will see all the devices that you can build and all the platforms that you can build for. So here you should definitely see if everything is connected correctly and your device is working, you should see your quest in the list. What we need to do is just click launch and this is the window that you will see. You can see that uh, all the stages here are going one by one. And when it gets to launching on your Android, it's actually the build is uh, already done. So it's just going to launch uh, the build over here. What we need to do at that stage is just click cancel because unless you close the game, it's uh, not going to finalize the last steps. So once it gets to launching on your Android, we will just wait it uh, yeah, because you can see it went on launching. So the whole build and everything was pretty fast. Remember that first time that you are doing the build, it might take a little bit longer because the first time it's going to go through all the different sections and also it's going to compile all of your shaders in your project. So everything uh, was done and now what we need to do is just click done on the bottom, close this and then we need to go into the build folder inside the Unreal project to get our Android build for the device. So your build is going to be wherever the project is uh, set up, then inside binaries you have an Android folder and then here you will have your APK and all the files that we need for installing the build to our Quest 2. Now let's get to the final part, which is installing the build on your device, because at the moment we just launched it, we made the build, but we didn't install it on the device. This is the part where SideQuest comes in help. Once you have your SideQuest, again, you need to have the device connected and here you need to make sure that your Quest 2 is being connected and it's being recognized by the software. So uh, make sure that uh, everything here is green and also that it says Quest 2 if you have 
Quest 2 connected. Then what we need to do is click this button over here, which you can see that it says install APK files from folder on computer. This means that we are going to install an APK file. We just need to click it and then navigate to the place where we have our APK. Again, this is something which uh, when you go in your project, binaries, Android, and here we have our APK. We just need to click the APK and it should take a couple of uh, seconds to install everything. Uh, of course, it depends how large is your build. My build is uh, pretty small, so everything takes a very short time to install. And once this is installed, you will be able to go into your headset and play the game. Have in mind a few things. When you go inside the VR and you want to launch your application, you will need to go inside the folder, which is, says unauthorized or unrecognized APKs or apps. This is important because your app is not going to show in the list of your standard apps where they are. So just remember to go where they are unauthorized and unrecognized ones. This is where you will find your builds. Thank you for joining me in today's video. I hope that this was useful and helpful for you. Have a great time developing your VR projects and leave a comment down below if you would like me to do more videos regarding VR development. See you next time.